You know, the 2010 commencement exercises is such an exciting time because we are truly graduating 240 emerging leaders in nursing science. What makes this year so special is the fact that we have 51 of what we call our pioneers. These are the first cohort in 14 years to graduate with the Bachelor's of Science with a major in nursing, and I know they're gonna do amazing things in the years to come. So welcome to our 2010 commencement exercises. Let the games begin. Thank you. ceremony and conferring degrees today. Please be seated. Dr. Fulmer, distinguished guests, faculty, graduates, friends, and family. <laughs> UCLA takes great pride in welcoming you to the 2010 commencement ceremonies for our School of Nursing. This year, we will celebrate the graduation of 240 nursing degree candidates, seven candidates for the degree Doctor of Philosophy, 171 candidates for the Masters of Science in Nursing, and 64 candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree. Thank you, Dean Leiter, friends, family, distinguished faculty, my fellow undergraduate class. Welcome to this moment in history. I feel so honored and privileged to stand before you today as we celebrate our journey as the first undergraduate nursing class since 1996. Hello, parents, families, faculty, staff, and graduates. As he said, my name is Lee Craig, and I would like to introduce the, the Bridge graduates, a family of friends. We are a diverse cohort of friends representing a variety of countries and backgrounds. One of us is from Burma by way of Jamaica and the Philippines. Two of us are from Bulgaria, one from Kenya, a few from Mexico, China, South Los Angeles, West Los Angeles, Carson, and Philadelphia, and more. Well, it is truly an amazing privilege and the greatest joy to be able to stand before all of you this morning representing the graduating UCLA Meccan class of 2010. <laughs> Fellow Meccans, I know that many of us mark this day on our calendar way back in fall of 2008. <laughs> and at times we weren't sure if we would ever get here, but now here we are. June 12, 2010. So you are here because of each one of your classmates sitting next to you. Each one who contributed a little bit to those many Google Docs study guides. Each one who responded at 3.32 a.m. to your Facebook anxiety-ridden status updates <laughs> with a word of encouragement or at least empathy to let you know that you weren't the only one who was still up and each one who started off a stranger, but eventually became someone who could understand you like no one outside this program could in quite the same way. We must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. UCLA School of Nursing has been like an extreme sport, brutal yet exhilarating. <laughs> the past few years have been intense and time-consuming and worth every second. 
For the people you see here today, I assure you that this was an expedition as much as a journey. We all came from different backgrounds, even different countries to pursue our goals. Though our individual journeys have taken us to different places in our research, our collective journey has led us here to receive our doctoral degrees today. We have changed and grown during this expedition, but one thing remains constant. We began as nurses, and we will walk out of Royce Hall today still nurses. ...to this morning in my remarks, so it's a privilege to be here. And as your diploma is bestowed on you today, much you've heard, much will be expected of you. You, the new generation of nurse leaders, who will lift our profession to a new level of societal meaning and excellence, and I know you're going to do that today. So for those of you becoming nurses for the first time, welcome and heartfelt congratulations. You're about to enter into one of the most personal and compelling professions in the world, and I say this to you who know it, but I say it for your families as well. Yours is that intimate engagement when a sick patient turns to you and says, help me. Yours is that intimate moment when a baby's born or a, or a person suffers a philosophy and they look to you and they say, what do I do now? So nurses comfort the sick and relieve humans, relieve human suffering. And aren't we proud of that? And how could society go on without us? Three, one. Congratulations. In recognition of you joining the community of scholars of UCLA, bachelors, turn your tassels. So to all of you, from all of us, congratulations, all the best.